Hey guys, I have just spent some time filming a makeup video as you can see the aftermath and the fact that my face is super bronzed and glowy and very golden. That's the look that you'll probably see before this video goes live. I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. I will be removing the makeup because I am going to stage and spruce up some of the Airbnb places that we have. So a lot of grunt work today. But I want to show you what I'm wearing. This sweater I've been dying to pull out from buying after a couple weeks ago. It is the Babaton by Aritzia cashmere hoodie. I wanted it so badly last year but just was like do I need a hoodie in cashmere and because I still want it this year I justified getting it. It's just so so soft. I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm wearing it with shorts, my Citizens of Humanity shorts, and then paired it with my Zara sandals. They're just very, very easy to wear, and I like the color of them. And because it was like looking cloudy earlier, so I don't know if it's gonna get cold or not, but it might be too hot for it right now. But this is what I think I'll be wearing today. So I will see you soon. I need to edit the video I just filmed, eat some breakfast, and then go downtown. Woo! long day ahead hey so good morning guys it is tuesday slash yeah it's still morning i think it's almost 11 o'clock i just spent the morning emailing and doing real estate stuff and then editing my what i wore this week for this week and now i'm heading downtown to finish up some staging for airbnb stuff it is apparently 17 degrees today so i'm super excited so i'm wearing long pants and boots I might even throw on a sweater. I'm pretty excited about that. And I can finally put away my shorts, hopefully. But this morning, I just wanted to tell you because I haven't had a perfect avocado in so long. I bought one yesterday at Longo's and just overnight it was perfection and I had it with eggs, with a little bit of Tabasco sauce and coffee and that's like kind of my morning go-to breakfast if any of you were wondering but let me get to the point of this video. I am wearing a hat from Gorin and Bros. It is like a little American hat boutique. They have one at Queen Street West and I've been buying my hats from them since I can remember. They were my first big hat purchase and I usually go there when I'm looking for like special hats that I know that I would be keeping for a long time. So that includes this one. This one they actually imported from Greece, so a Greek man had handmade this one. So I'm pretty excited about pulling it out again this year. I am wearing my vintage Harley tee, rolled up twice on the sleeves because it is quite oversized. This is what the back looks like. And then the front is just the plain logo, which is why I bought this shirt in the first place. And then I twisted it in the front and then tucked it in the front of my pants to give this kind of more fitted, cropped looking feeling to an otherwise like large men's t-shirt. I'm wearing my high-waisted page skinnies. Someone posted in my last video that they want me to do like a skinnies review. I will totally do that. I just want to make sure that more of you want to watch that. So leave me a comment below if you want me to do another jeans review and specifically on skinny jeans. This page pair I've had for two years now. I am obsessed because the high-waistedness of them just make them more comfortable than my frame ones. Although my frame ones I still love nonetheless. These ones are also cropped so it makes wearing boots perfect for them. I am wearing my Common Project suede booties. A couple of you asked what other alternatives there are to these boots. Honestly I've never seen anything quite like these. I've seen other Chelsea boots but nothing quite so sleek, nothing quite so masculine and this perfect suede but I am on the hunt for them. So don't worry, I did see your comment. I'm just looking for a right pair. So this is my entire look. Kind of like a mix of biker chic and with a little hint of masculinity and a busboy hat. This weather just makes me really excited because I can pair things like this together and not worry about it being too cold or too hot. But yeah, I'm gonna get going so that I'm not late. Well, hello. It is Thursday 
afternoon now. I just went to have breakfast with my parents, pick up some packages, sent some emails, did a lot of work, <laughs> but I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. I started out the day in a different outfit, not totally different outfit, but basically the bottom layer of this outfit. So when I read the weather this morning, it said 17 degrees. So I was like, hey, perfect. Long pants, light sweater. So I was wearing just this really light acne sweater. It's like 67% cotton and the rest is nylon. So you can really see how thin it is up close. So you can see how it's like a super micro knit up here and then this like thicker rib here, but it's, so essentially it is a very, very thin sweater. So that being said, knowing it's a thin sweater, I thought 17 degrees and this would be fine, but because it doesn't really block any wind, I was super chilly. I paired it with my favorite Levi's. I haven't worn it all summer because I wanted to savor how much I liked them again for fall winter. I tend to get really bored with pants if I wear them too much, but these ones I am still in love with. It's the first time I've probably worn them in months. It's like this black off gray super washed denim with like flecks of paint, I guess, to make them look super lived in. They also have like the seam that goes almost like in the middle of your shin, but not really. So it gives it a really nice tapered shape and then makes it really easy to cuff. I always wear them cuffed like this. This is where they live. Even if I wash them, they kind of stay cuffed like this because they look great with ankle shoes. So this was my original look until I stepped outside and realized I needed to put on a jacket and a, and a hat. So I went to my parents um, where I was gonna go anyways and I have a lot of like my winter stuff stored there. I know a lot of you ask me how I keep all my clothes in a tiny condo. I literally have the tiniest closet, like this mirror times two width, like that's it. So I have a lot of my stuff at my parents. I'm very lucky that they don't mind me keeping my stuff there. So right now a lot of my coats, my jackets, and my hats and scarves are there. So I just went to pick that up and so my outfit turned to this. So I added my Uniqlo wool blazer. They did sell it in Canada last winter or two winters ago. My parents went to Japan though and so they picked me up this one there and so it's actually fitted to me perfectly. And I think it looks so much more luxe and expensive than it actually is just because of the tailoring and the sizing. I should live in Japan apparently. You can see where the cuffs end so you can see a little bit of the sweater. The shoulders are perfect. And it hits, I guess, just an, at my butt line. So it's not super oversized, but it does definitely give you that um, schoolboy blazer feel that I guess J. Crew is very famous for when you look at buying their blazers, but I really like this fit better. I do have a bunch of J. Crew blazers too, but this one definitely is my favorite in terms of material and the shape. And then I have this Carhartt beanie. I actually had bought it for Travis, I think for Christmas last year, but it came like two weeks later and in a different package that like, I was just like, maybe I should just keep it because it'd be awkward to be like, hey, like here's the rest of your present that didn't come. And also just because I really, really liked this hat on me. So I just kept it. But he never knew that it was supposed to be for him. So he's not gonna see it here, but just don't tell him if you ever do see it. A lot of you ask me how I layer and dress for fall. This is what you're gonna find me in most of the time, especially if I'm in a rush to get dressed. So jeans clearly or some sort of trousers in this shape probably. I'm most comfortable in this pant style and some sort of sweater. I normally have a t-shirt if it's a thicker sweater just because I know that I'm gonna get warm no matter where I go. So I wanna be able to take it off. But because this is a thinner sweater today, I, this is my only layer. And then of course a jacket of some sort. I have a lot of blazers that I like to rotate. Of course leather jackets. And then when it gets cooler, I have legit jackets that I will be wearing over this. I have planned a full video of my current season's favorite jackets and coats because I know a lot of you have been asking for it. So stay tuned. I'm thinking it will come out mid-October, early or mid-October. 
and then of course some sort of hat um, beanie usually or I have my busboy hat that you know I really want a grandpa hat that's next on my list of hat accessories and then a scarf when it gets really windy I need to cover this part of my body when it's cold out I could actually be wearing a t-shirt and if I have my neck region and chest region covered I will be fine like this is the only region that makes me cold Clearly, if it's negative 40, I need a jacket, but you know what I mean. Good morning. It is Friday morning. I am very confused with this weather. It is apparently right now it's 17 degrees, but it's going to go up to 30 degrees later. So I'm starting out the day with my cozy Serma Aritzia sweater, which you all know and love. But I am wearing a t-shirt underneath, a linen t-shirt for when the weather finally gets to 30 degrees today and wearing some shorts because usually even if it's cold and I'm wearing shorts I'm fine as long as the top of my body is warm so that's why I stuck with the sweater and dressing for the 30 degrees on the bottom. Wearing sneakers today. These are the Nike court shoes, the fly knit that I wore earlier this week just because I am going back downtown to stage today. And I'm already feeling hot, so I don't know if I'm going to actually wear this sweater. I might choose a lighter one or a light jacket. I'll let you know later. But yeah, I got to go. I have my morning meeting. And I will see you tomorrow. Morning, guys. It is Sunday. I think it's almost 10 now. I haven't checked the time in a little bit. We just came back from grocery shopping. And this is my grocery shopping look. I am wearing the... Wilfred Free Henley top, the cropped Henley that I love so much. This is definitely, I already know this is going to be one of those tops I'm grabbing all fall and winter. I definitely would recommend you investing in this top if you were kind of on the fence about it because it seriously is just so comfy and so versatile. I did get a new really thin golden chain. It's vintage from St. Eloi. She has like a bunch of great just gold chains if you're looking for some. I'm putting my mom's diamond on this eventually. I just need to fix the clasp so that it can fit inside. And then the other St. Eloi spinner necklace. She has a really cute one that says, um, I think it says love you on it instead of good luck, which is what mine says when you spin it. And then I am wearing the Denim Forum Yoko Slim. Definitely loving these for fall. They are so comfy. The more I wear them, the comfier they get. And I still like like how they almost look like a skinny, but they're just a little bit more of like a trouser style because they kind of go a little bit more straight down the leg than full on like spandex hugging your leg like the um, like the other pair that I have, which is also great, but these are just more comfy for kind of a grocery run or if you have a more casual look. And I paired it with my Stella McCartney loafers because it is still warm enough to wear no socks. So this is the full outfit for this Sunday morning. Kind of the usual jeans and a really comfy tee slash almost like a sweater. That's how thick this shirt is. It can fit it can act like a really thin sweater, which I like, because then you can probably like layer it over another shirt and then layer it under a jacket later on when it gets colder in fall. But basically, what I wanted to say was that I didn't film yesterday because I had a visitation and I didn't really feel like it was appropriate to film what I was wearing to that. It wasn't like a style moment, you know, and we just wore all black. And so I'm gonna give you guys an extra outfit today. I do have a bridal shower today, so I will be dressing up a little bit more for that. And I will see you guys soon. Okay guys, this is what I'm wearing to the bridal shower. A little bit dressed down as you probably are expecting. The bridal shower's at a pub. The bride is just super cool like that. So I'm wearing jeans, blazer, and a t-shirt. This blazer I got from Aritzia on sale last winter. It's 100% wool and it was 70 bucks. And I have worn this so much because it's so versatile. You can just wear it with a t-shirt, but it's big enough that you can put like a large chunky knit underneath it for winter. I'm obsessed. 
And usually with blazers like this, I like to layer a v-neck just so that you have a little bit more room of skin on the top just to balance everything out. And I pick t-shirts that are a little bit more flowy and material just so they can like drape and it just looks a little bit more comfortable. I think I need to fix how I tuck this in later, but I'll do that after the video. So this is a Kern Elliott t-shirt. It is one of my favorites, so soft. It is pricier than normal t-shirts, but definitely worth it. It, I've had it and every time I wash it, it looks exactly the same. It doesn't pill or do anything like that. So that's the t-shirt I'm wearing underneath. So these are my Levi's 501 skinnies, as you guys are probably familiar with now. I usually wear this pair whenever I, I don't know, I have something nicer to do, but I wanna wear denim. These are like my going out jeans now. They used to be my everyday jeans, but I savor them a little bit more now that I've had them for longer. I cut the edges myself. They come with a fully finished bottom, but because I wanted them crop and I really like how the 100% cotton phrase, I cut them myself so that they fit on top of booties and high tops. And I'm wearing my Stuart Weitzman Expert booties. Someone asked me how they fit. They fit, I would say they are oversized. So size half a size down, but you have to make sure you have narrow feet because if you don't, it's hard to get them through this part of the boot. I have very narrow feet, so they fit me, but um, the people in the store say that a lot of people actually can't get their foot through the boot. So if you think you have a wide foot, I don't suggest getting them. Okay, so this is my full luck. Travis needs to go to his baseball game, so he's rushing me to go out. Um, I will see you guys next week. I'm changing my sign off just because I think that you get the drill now. If you like the video, leave me a like and a subscribe because I finally got over 10K, but there's a lot more room to grow. So follow me if you like my stuff. See you guys next time.